hello everyone you are highly welcome in this video i'm going to show you how i prepare smoky party jollof rice for 70 to 120 persons nigerian smoky party jollof rice everyone exactly what you see on the screen please continue watching if you, this is your first time here you are highly welcome if you are returning you are highly welcome please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel all right i will also show you how i prepare chicken to go with this smoky party jollof rice you see on the screen everyone so let's dive into it together let's cook together everyone all right so here are the things we got from the markets we have the red bell pepper which is number one ingredient for your party jollof rice to have that party jollof rice look so i'm going to be using one basket of that which is about 50 or 60 um large bear pepper we are cooking other things like fried rice um soups but in this video i'm focusing on jollof rice the party jollof rice we are probably cooking for covid 19 welding party okay so i have two bags of chicken this is what the frozen chicken looks like everyone so follow me don't go away let's cook this here miss smoky party jollof rice together so i'm taking you to show you other ingredients for the jollof rice which are already out from the car so i have this um long pepper we'll call it shombo i'm going to be using 30 large shombo that is half baskets that small basket they're using selling it in the market is small um half of it and then i have scotch bonnet paper i'm also using half basket so that is my garlic and ginger then i'm using 15 large purple onions to blend the tomato i'm not using the white one it's optional though then i'm going to take my time to remove all the seeds from the red bell pepper because if you blend it together it's going to make your stew bitter so always take that out so our pepper is washed tomato onion some red bell pepper garlic and ginger is going to be blended on um power engine so i'm peeling a um, garlic i'm going to be using 40 cloves of garlic for the stew and also to spice the chicken the chicken is out from the back ready to be washed and here are the ingredients to spice it i have ginger i have my purple onions already chopped i have curry powder all pepper seasoning salt garlic scotch bonnet pepper i have thyme and parsley i'm going to blend some of it so after i wash the chicken i transferred it into a bigger pot and then to marinate the chicken i will add chopped onions i'll add thyme i'll add curry powder i'll add parsley i will add salt i will add seasoning or pepper seasoning then i'll add the already blended mixture which are garlic ginger scotch bonnet pepper and onions then i'll take a desirable spoon or stick and turn this until it properly blends together all the ingredients the quantity of ingredient used for this will be at the description section down below so i'll cover this and put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours so our tomato is boiled and it's ready i'm just transferring it into a strainer to drain any water left but not over draining the next day i'll transfer the chicken into a bigger bowl and then i'll still add chopped onions to add that aroma when it's cooked 
so that you that aroma comes out when it cooks so i'm going to put it on fire to cook for 30 minutes on a medium um heat or medium flame so after 30 minutes this is what the chicken looks like it is cooked and you notice the stock is very nice because it is well seasoned then next thing i did was to put my pot on fire when it gets hot i add chopped onions and begin to fry the chicken you can see the onions floating so after frying the chicken this is what it looks like oh, next thing i did is to strain the oil because i'm using the same oil to fry this stew for the um the jello fries when you do that it gives your jello fries a very nice flavor it will be very tasty using the same oil you use to fry your chicken so first thing i add is my tin tomato i'm using one small medium sized tin tomato i will fry this for 10 minutes to get rid of that uh sharp taste of tin tomato and then after 10 minutes i begin to add my fresh tomato paste and continue to stir this for 30 minutes we are using industrial gas so i'm stirring it for 30 minutes and here are the ingredients for this too i have seasoning curry powder salt to taste parsley thyme and bay leaf all the ingredients the quantity of ingredients used for the stew will be at the description box down below please do check it so and after, at this point i've already added all the seasoning i just showed and i'll continue to stir it for another 30 minutes so after that this is what our stew look like you can see the bell leaf floating on top well the next day i'll return the stew on fire and then i'll begin to add the chicken stock our stock is properly seasoned and even the stew is also seasoned for your jello fries to come out very well you quality need to season your um stew very well good jello fry depends on good stew how you prepare your stew so if you want tasty smoky party jello fries you prepare your stew very well and it starts with the blending how you blend your pepper quantity of pepper onions scotch bonnet pepper red bear pepper shambo you blends all of this helps to give your rice that tasty um the test we want the that jello fries test so so i scooped out some of the sauce and set it aside i'll be adding it bit by bit so here is our rice i'm using 50 cups of rice the medium size cup is what i used to measure then i'll add salt to give it a wash it is optional to add salt while washing your rice but i love to add salt so after adding salt i add water and begin to wash i'll give this a proper wash before i add it to the sauce so after the sauce boils for 15 minutes i'll start adding the rice I'll add the rice bit by bit, exactly what you see on the screen. And after adding the rice, I will take the turning stick or the stirring stick and begin to make sure the rice sink inside the pot so that it doesn't get burnt. And then I'll cover for 10 minutes on a medium heat. After 10 minutes, I open the pot, add more water, cover for another 20 minutes on a low heat and after then the rice dries up i turn it then make sure the rice the sauce mix the everything blends together mix to combine because when you're cooking for masses sometimes you notice that the rice is not properly cooked some parts will be cooked while some are not cooked so after using your turning stick to stir it round add little water exactly what you see on the screen add little water by the side and if you have a foil paper use it to cover the pot before putting the pot cover and allow it to cook for 30 minutes on a medium heat but if you don't have foil paper my dear <laughs> use sack the same thing i did wash it and then use it allow it to steam for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes our rice is ready so 
turn and stain it to combine this is our party jollof fries it is ready smoky nigerian party jollof rice the aroma has taken over the whole compound everyone all right if you, this is your first time here don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to share my video comment like and subscribe thanks all my genuine subscribers for all your support always i really appreciate and on how to cook party fried rice please the first link down below is there for you don't forget to watch and comment and share the video as well all right stay safe stay connected see you in the next video bye for now